So, um, can I talk to my cellmate? What's her name? Katyusha or something, right? Maybe I should look first. Ah, uh, let's let's see all the I other. I better freshen up first and see how Katyusha is. Okay. Oh, huh. better not hang around getting ready. Simona isn't the worst guard here, but best not get her back up. Okay. Then what else do we have up here? Some more water? Can I use that there? No, I don't think so. Okay. So here we have a guitar pick. Okay, cool. Beast. Okay, was added to my inventory. Why should I open the diary just for the inventory? Okay. And then we have something else to read. Pushkin's poem. In the depth of the Siberian mines, keep your proud patience. In the depth of the Siberian mines, your sorrowful labor and great ambitions of your thoughts will not be wasted. Hope, the faithful sister of misery, will wake up your courage and amusement. In the dark underground, the desired time will come. Love and friendship will come to you through the somber gates as my free voice reaches you in your miserable holes. Heavy locks will fall down, prisons will crash, and freedom will greet you gladly at the door, and brothers will give you the sword. Alexander Pushkin Okay, yeah, let's hope we will get out of here soon, together with Kadyusha. Let's talk. Sleep okay? Like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. Katusha. You okay? Sure. Digging in a salt mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. Of course we will. I'm Kate Walker. Mm, the guard? We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off? When we should be ready. Who? Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Okay, and today? What happened today? Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Better sure. get ready. Okay. Five minutes, no more. Da? Da. Da. Okay, and now get ready for work. How do we get ready for work? Maybe go to the toilet? Um. Get ready for work. Maybe you do something here now? I better freshen up first and see how Katusha is. I'll pick up my gear after. Yeah, we, we know how Katusha is. We want to prepare for work. Huh. Better not hang around getting ready. Simona isn't the worst guard here, but best not get her back up. Okay. What else can I do for work? I can just introspect again. I don't 
think that's doing anything. I can read the code of conduct again. No, ah, I can freshen up. Beautiful, Kate. Beautiful. <laughs> Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. That's all I got left. Oscar's heart. Yeah, it's all I've got left because I have neither my looks nor my voice anymore. <laughs> Plus Oscar's heart. Okay. Oh, observe. There's all Oscar's data inside. Yeah. I was let's... lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baranur and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. That is, if I ever get out of here. Mm. Might be difficult, but we can do it. And then we will see Oscar again. Okay. Oscar's heart was added. Now, now I can pick up my gear maybe. Take. Glad you're here. Let's stay close, Katusha, okay? Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. It's for you, Americanska. Write five minutes to open it before we move out to Americanska. Okay, examine the parcel. Okay, what do we got? We got a swan. Is that a swan? Music box. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember even my mother couldn't find out what it was called. Mm -hmm. It belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. Okay. Oh, maybe can I? Ups I can take it. Could she know I'm here? Okay, and a boarding pass. Catherine Walker, boarding pass, London Heathrow, world traveler. Passenger ticket. So to London Heathrow? A plane ticket to New York. Ah, okay, but from London. Plane ticket. So someone expects me to get out of here. Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me, given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? Strange. What? August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, Despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. 
funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia, 212-359-1519. Wagen Rose's house, spring 1937. Well done, Donna, dear. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. We shall find a pretty frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, You'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory, won't she, Anton? Of course, of course. Then, my darling, you'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Of course, of course. So proud. Mm, I don't want to leave, no. I really do want to become a concert pianist, but the thought of leaving Papa, you, and the house to go to the Paris Conservatory doesn't exactly thrill me. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. <coughs> I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the Mountain Refuge this summer. Oh, yes. That mountain air will do you a world of good, my dear. By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank you? Oh, uh, well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Donna. Thanking him is the very least you can do. <sighs> yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. Okay. Edit to the diary. Dana's diary. June 1st, 1937. Concert went like a dream. What a relief. Feeling more confident now than ever to apply to go to the Paris Conservatoire. Just one more year at the Wagen Music, Music Academy, then my journey begins. My journey to become a concert pianist. My dream. I can help my parents pay for their tuition fees thanks to the summer job I've managed to land at the mountain refuge of Silberspiegel. It was Adam Adam's Zimmer, his father's friend, who put me in touch with Herr Gustav, the manager of the refuge, who sent me a letter of employment. So my journey begins. Okay, yes, your journey begins. So, mother, I don't want to talk to to you again but maybe I will at the end what else do we have here RT and open no how 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 ah like this okay open Read. A lot of reading here, but I do like this about the games. Letter from Herr Zimmer, 28th of May 1937. My dear Anton, I've received the paintings. Given their quality, I can only congratulate you on getting them at such a good price. I can already tell that they will find a buyer amongst my American clientele and we will get a return on our small investment very shortly. On a more personal note, I wanted to thank you and your lovely Lena for the message of support included with your package. The doctors seem optimistic about Miriam's recovery. They think she should be back on her feet this summer. 
With each passing day, I am ever more amazed that such a strong woman did me the honor of becoming my wife. However, I will not hide from you that we are both terribly downcast. Despite Miriam's medical history, that charlatan of an obstetrician had left us with serious hopes that this unexpected pregnancy would turn out well. Although it was really hard for us to take such a final decision, we decided not to run the risk of being met with further disappointment in the future. This concerns Miriam's physical health and, it must be said, the mental health of us both. I imagine that all there is left for us to do is to learn to live with the idea that we will grow old alone, Miriam and I, without any children. In such circumstances, my dear friend, you will understand that every day God gives us we wonder about the expediency of remaining here in Ostertal, while the sound of the brown shadow's boots can be heard more and more in our streets. Miriam and I would perhaps be safer on the other side of the Atlantic where, as you know, I have the benefit of strong professional relationships and some well-placed friends in the New York art community. In any case, please know that your and Lena's support went straight to our hearts. This further proof of the unwavering unwa loyalty that binds our two households has been the only ray of sunshine for us in this particularly somber time of our relationship. I thank you both again for this renewed expression of our honest friendship. Yours truly, Adam. Okay. Hetzema. So this is the guy we will be working for, right? Okay. Ah, there are more things. So more I have to put these away before I lose them. Um. I'm pretty sure I know this piece by heart now anyway. Yeah, yeah. The Hymn of Wagen. My favorite concerto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we can... Wait, wait, open you. We have a pencil, old pencil. Nothing special. That might become useful. And the other drawer. It's stuck. Oh. Papa really ought to tidy up. It's stuck. Okay, then... I don't think I can use anything if I'm not given the option here. Okay, so we will continue inspecting other things and look and at the frames. So, ah, this is a frame and painting shop, I guess. So, Papa's shop. Okay. Another painting of a family maybe sitting by the fire. Okay, let's look at the desk. What is that? Piece of paper. Can I write on it? Yes, yes. Anna, darling. Pencil. No? I hope you're not seriously thinking of writing a letter to your future employer with that old pencil. Why not? <laughs> okay, I'm not allowed to. Mama said so. Herr Gustav, my future employer. Ah, Herr Gustav, yes. Thanks to this summer job, I'll be able to help Papa pay for another year of schooling at the Music Academy. Fräulein Rose, I am pleased to announce that I have selected your application for the summer seasonal job at the refuge I am in charge of. Your contract will begin on Monday, 5th of July and will end on 31st of August. We expect this to be a busy period. Our refuge will be welcoming a group of scientists who have come to train in the mountain before they leave for an expedition to the east. Your daily duties will mainly consist of serving at mealtimes and contributing towards maintaining the refuge. Since I read on your curriculum vitae that you are a student at the Academy of Music, I will also ask you to perform on the piano some evenings. In addition, you will be fed, housed and laundered throughout the duration of your work. I am looking forward to your arrival and wish you an excellent end to the school year. Gustav Renner, manager of the Silberspiegel Refuge. OK, 
Okay, maybe we get to ride a cable car again. That would be cool. That would be very nice. Okay, <coughs> and some certificate it looks like. The diploma Frau Beckmann gave me after my concert oh. on the musical <coughs> square. Oh. Thank goodness she didn't mention I almost arrived late. <laughs> yes, no, of course she wouldn't. Music Academy. Dana Rose. Okay. Wagen Music Academy. This is to certify that Dana Rose has successfully completed the third cycle of piano education. Rectoress Karina Beckmann, head teacher Edmund Kruger, year 1937. Okay. Before we head to Mama and Papa, we will look at more paintings. Oh, this is beautiful. This is nice. You can imagine being there hiking, just enjoying the serenity. My pen? Hmm. Can't be far. Give me a better pen, please. Should I give you your old pen? We can change. Papa, could your pen be around here somewhere? Could be, I suppose. Okay, what do we have here? Papa is so untidy. There's a pen. Can I have it? Ink pen. And here we have frames. Papa is so untidy. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, we can... Vorarlberg! Vorarlberg automatons. These machines are incredible. Yes, they are. Vorarlberg Manufacturing Automaton Factory made in France. Are you the happy owner of a Vorarlberg Automaton? Remember that they are guaranteed for life. For any request for a replacement, repair or refund, please write to us at the address indicated on your warranty card. Who are we? Located in Valladilene in the French Alps, Vorarlberg Manufacturing are at the cutting edge when it comes to precision mechanics. Our state-of-the-art automatons are renowned throughout Europe and embody both the quality of our work and the respect we show our customers. We think all of our creations must have that extra little something that will make them unique, a genuine extra bit of soul. Wagen and us. Although we, for Alberg Manufacturing, pride ourselves on having a close relationship with all of our customers, we maintain an even stronger relationship with Wagen and its people. Why are we so close? During one of his travels, our visionary chief engineer Hans Vorarlberg discovered a Wagen that had been devastated by a notoriously terrible fire. Mr. Vorarlberg was moved by the situation, so he made our factories part of the effort to rebuild and mechanize the city, restoring its eternal beauty while propelling it into modernity thanks to the latest automatons from our workshops. Mm -hmm. That's why there are these automatons here in Wagen. These were all very interesting readings, but I should get back to writing the letter now, or Mama will get cross. Uh, understood. You could close the drawers when you're done, little Miss Nosy. I thought you're untidy. <laughs> I thought you're untidy, so you shouldn't care. What was that again? Just that he's untidy. Okay, I did it, Papa. Are you proud now? Okay, let's write the letter. So, ink pen. Formal. Dear Herr Gustav, Herr Renner, Herr Gustav. Yeah, come on. It's fine. Dear Herr Gustav, I would like to thank you Piss for... Piss over here, you filthy vagary! Don't, 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 Anna, it's too dangerous. Oh my, what in the name of... Okay, that's not cool. Examine the brick. Dana, darling, no, no, give it to me, please. 
Oh my goodness. What is it? What does it say, father? It's nothing, Dana. Nothing but spite. Will they ever leave us in peace? Come on, Lena, my dear. Hey, come on. Look at me. Don't let it get you down. Huh? Or we'll both end up in Paris with Dana. Take a peek at the note, yes. Okay, thread note. Verpisst euch, ihr dreckigen Wagkörner. Piss off out of here, you filthy vagarians. Horrible. Yeah. Iron Tiger Area Salt Mine Winter 2004. Kate, come on. We need to get to work now. Ah, uh, comply. That's it. I'll get started working now. You push the cart closer and come dig next to me, okay? I'm very sorry, love. But we'll have all night long to cry. Great, we'll have all night long to cry. Diary. So, December 27th, 2004. Just a quick word to let you know that I went back to the mine today to try to buy Miss Walker's freedom with the money you raised with your husband. Unfortunately, though, that they refused again. It seems the militia preferred to punish Miss Walker for standing up for the Yuko nomads than to receive any money. As if that isn't bad enough, another bribe enabled me to get confirmation of what you and I feared most. Miss Walker apparently broke down on learning about the death of her mother last year. The fact she missed the burial service really cut her up. Even her cellmate can do nothing to bring her out of a deep depression. I fear she will die of grief if we don't quickly find a way to, of getting her out of that unearthly place. Oh, okay, but first we have to focus on work. I know. It's hard for you, Kate. I'm so sorry about your mother. But I need you now. You understand? Yeah, yeah. An ivory fragment. Ivory! The guards grant benefits to anyone who finds any. But I couldn't give a damn now. Okay. So we're not taking it. What? Nick Nick Canton, is that you? Oh no, I'm just hearing my thoughts or the what I've read. Can I go in here? No, not really. Can I pick up the pickaxe? No. Okay, what am I doing then? What am I doing with my life? Well, I don't have a choice. Ooh, okay. Shit. Mm. Stuck. Stuck. Move the camera. Okay, maybe the brakes are on. Is that it? Maybe? Mm. 
brakes are on. Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. Which direction? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Ah, like this. Okay, now let's try again. Use left stick stick to move. Okay. It's going very slowly. Probably heavy. <laughs> I wasn't. I made mistakes, okay? I made choices, difficult decisions. No one to hold her hand. Don't blame yourself. August 23rd, 2003. And we Already. use our ass for you. Uh oh, it's she not good. You broke her heart. You deserted her. She died asking for your mother, mother's bed. Kate, watch out! Sorry, I didn't see. Hey, look! Come on, let's go and see. 